Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video about a Chrome extension I've been working on to improve the McDonald's delivery website in the Philippines. Now in many countries McDonald's doesn't even have delivery, so Philippines is lucky in that respect, but the website certainly needs some improvement. So let's open the website. First thing you notice is every time you come to the website you get a pop-up. Now this time the image is working, but often the image doesn't even work and it just has an error there. So that's one of the things we want to get rid of. Now the next thing is we're kind of wasting some space. With this business opportunities, the chances are we're probably not interested in this. We don't really need the phone number because we're already on the website, it can be a little bit distracting. So let me turn on my extension and show you the initial changes it makes to the website. So my extension is now turned on, let's open the website again. You can see the pop-up does open, but it gets automatically closed. We've then removed a bunch of stuff here that we didn't need anymore. Now you might be thinking, okay, so you've got rid of some annoyances, but what about all this space? Isn't that wasted now? Well, here comes the next bit. So again, we're back to the delivery website with my extension turned off. Now let's say we add something to our tray. We click add to tray, add to tray, then click add more products. Like that's ridiculous right there, by the way, free clicks just to add something to our tray. But then like, how do I know what I've already ordered? What's in my order tray? Well, I have to click here, which is kind of annoying. And look, order tray, four items, but we only see three. So we actually have to scroll inside this as well, which is kind of annoying. So let me turn my extension back on. So now my extension is turned on. Let's refresh the page. And look at that, we've now got our order tray down the side here. So I don't have to click up here and then scroll down this, which is just totally annoying. I've got it there, nice and easy. The other thing is now the checkout link, instead of just saying checkout, it also tells me my total bill. Again, I don't have to go all the way to the checkout page just to check, it's right there on the page. And if you want to empty the cart, you have to go through this manually, clicking delete and then let the page reload, click delete, let the page reload, etc., etc. Let me show you, so delete, okay. So that removed one item. And if I want to do it again, delete. That removed one item. It's so tedious. But if we just add another couple of things to the tray again, so add to tray, then let's add this Coke McFlow. Now you might have noticed something was a bit faster there. I'm going to show you in a minute. Anyway, so we've got four things in our order tray now. If I click empty cart, now I want to improve this a bit, but basically it says, are you sure? Okay, 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 okay. That's all four items gone, just like that. Compared to before, I had to delete, let the page refresh, etc. <laughs> just ridiculous. Anyway, so much faster now. Now, you may have noticed when I was adding stuff to the tray, it's much faster. Let me show you why. So again, I've turned off the extension. Let's say we want to add a Coke to our tray. If we have to click add to tray, then we have to click add to tray, then this stupid pop-up thing comes up. We have to click add more products. The page then reloads and you get back to the menu. Kind of stupid, right? Let's turn my extension back on. So now my extension's turned on. Let's click add to tray on the Coke. We're gonna add two Cokes and click add to tray. Now you'll notice the pop-up still came up, but it was automatically dismissed and it threw us back to the menu. So we don't have to waste time clicking a button that just shouldn't be there in the first place. So that's pretty much as far as I've got so far, and I'm not sure like what other changes or additions I should make, and whether anyone's actually gonna use this or not. Personally, I use it, and it makes the using the website a lot easier, but I don't know if other people would use it. So if you would use it, leave a comment down below, and also let me know what kind of other features you'd like. Um, the programming for this website is so, so, so weird. There's like iframes in random places, and the whole thing is just like, I have no idea what they were thinking. I'm guessing that maybe like there's so many different people working on it and they're disorganized between them or maybe like one group started and then another group had to take over and because like legacy code they had to keep all these weird bits i don't know what happened but basically the site is absolutely awful um, and their mobile apps much worse but otherwise mac delivery is awesome because they will deliver to your door pretty much 24 7 within 30 minutes um, in fact, if you go to the checkout, it even says 30 minute guarantee, blah, blah, blah. Although to be honest, that is actually a lie because all they do is during busy periods, they just won't confirm your order because the 30 minute countdown only starts from when they confirm your order. So what they'll do during peak times is they just won't confirm your order for like 30 minutes or an hour. And then they will confirm the order and then the timer starts from then. And then they'll say, yeah, we delivered it in 28 minutes. What's wrong with you? Even though they didn't confirm the order for like an hour. But anyway, putting that aside, because that doesn't happen that often, it's just like sometimes. Putting that aside, Mac Delivery is very, very good, but they really need to overhaul this website. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.